Hi everyone and welcome to today's tutorial video. My name is Ashley and today's video is all about how to enable online payments within Club V1. Okay, so I'm logged into my Club V1 account and we are currently on the dashboard on the homepage. Now, before we get started, in order to activate and utilize the online payments, you will need to set up an online merchant account with one of the providers that we integrate with. If you do need further information on the providers that we integrate with, please contact your account manager or directly to our sales line and they can provide further information. Okay, so once your account has been set up and you've got the relevant credentials, you can then go into the settings cog, top right of Club V1 and into settings. On the left hand side in the orange column, if you scroll down, you can see there's an option for online payments. And within this section is where you will enable How Do I Pay, which is our online payment portal. This acts as the middleman between the customer and your merchant account. So once enabled, so if we select this to yes and save, you can now begin to add your account and your services that you wish to use for online payments. Okay, so we've got a plus icon next to online payments, and this would allow us then to add a service. So firstly, we want to enable the service, and the type that we're going to look at is booking. So this will allow any green fee payments through the members hub, whether it's a member payment, a guest, and also for our visitor portal, if you offer online visitor green fee rates. So in the description, Booking screen fee and save. So if we scroll down, you can now see we've got a service set up for booking online. Now that service will need linking to an account. So if we go back to the plus button, you can see there's now an option for add account. So if we click that. Now this account needs linking to that service. So if we go to the drop down again and select booking. We want the account to be live. And now you need to select the merchant provider that your account is set up with. So in this case, if we select OB payments, it would require my merchant ID, uh, my account name, and then whether you want to enable card on file, yes or no. So once you've input those credentials and decided this, you can then click save. And as you can see, that account now is set up with OB payments linked to this service. If you wish to enable more services, for example, we have EPOS top up. So if you're using our EPOS system, members can then top up their card via the members hub. Again, you would need to create a service for EPOS top up and link it to an account. And thirdly, we have a pay bill option which would then allow members to pay their membership subscriptions via the Members Hub and How Do I Pay. So once all this is set up, if we just go through to an example on the Members Hub, so David Jones is a member of my golf club. If we scroll down to the bottom, you can see his membership is now due, £809.75. Now he can click onto that within the Members Hub. He can then click on his annual bill and this will give him a breakdown of what is due. And you can now see there is a pay button, which will allow him then to pay his subscription online and the balance will be zeroed within the Club V1 account. So we go through to pay. You can see this is opened up now in How Do I Pay? And the breakdown of the bill is here. And at the bottom, your payment method will appear with debit credit card linked to your merchant provider. Please note that if you are looking to enable competition charging for both member events and open events, as you've now set up an online payment service and account for booking, you can go into any competition setup. And now on the left hand side, you've got a charging tab, which will allow you to enable this within the settings. And within this section, you can enable a mandatory charge. So for example, three pounds, this is a members only competition. If it was an open, you would have a visitor fee underneath. 
um, and you can choose when this is charged. So is it at the time of signing or booking? You've then got options to add um, an optional charge, such as a two sweep. So for example, £1.50 optional twos charge. And then again, you can choose whether to refund the charge um, on withdrawal. So whether this is 24 hours before um, on the day, so you've got full control over when that will be refunded. Um, and once happy, you can continue. As soon as somebody then goes to sign into the competition on Club V1, payment will be taken from the dedicated competition purse. Um, so you can see here, I've got a competition balance purse where again, I can go in and top up myself. So you can't allow players to go overdrawn. But obviously that is down to the club's discretion. To enable an overdraft limit, if you go back into the Club V1 settings area, and on the left, you've got how did I do settings. At the bottom, you've got overdraft limit. Where you can set that amount in this field here. And again, you've got how did I do balance check. So this might be worth running if a player is going to enter a singles competition. It will just make sure that they've got enough money in their account to enter that competition. Once happy, save settings and you're ready to go. If you're looking to take online green fees for visitors and you want payments up front, you can go into the Club V1 settings and then hub and casual booking on the left. And in the hub drop down, you've got general. And within this setting, you've got member and guests payment point and then visitor payment point. So if you've got members that are paying green fees, for example, a five day member wants to pay on a weekend, and you've set up the green fee rate and rule for it to be charged, maybe £10. Um, when they go to book a tea time on a Saturday, they would require to pay there and then. Um, and likewise with the visitor payments, if a visitor goes on to book um, for Saturday, they would be required to pay there and then for the booking to be successful. So you have got options for payment to be taken on booking, um, they can book the green fee, but then pay at the club, which would be on arrival. Or you can then give the option whether they pay online or they pay when they get to the club. So once happy with those, you just scroll down and save changes and payment will then be taken if you've got that set up. So I hope you've enjoyed that tutorial video today. And it's given you an insight how to get online payments set up within Club V1, how to get each service and account linked and how to start utilising the services for both your members and visitors. If you do need any further assistance, please contact our support team, seven days a week, eight till eight.